Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So I've had some requests to review some items which were a little bit more inexpensive. And this is one of them. I picked Yum. this up from Home Depot for $15. It's a baseball bat flashlight or a flashlight in the shape of a small baseball bat. It's made of some kind of anodized aluminum. I'm assuming it runs on four AA batteries and it's about 350 lumens. I will post a link in the description where you can get one of these off of Amazon. Obviously this was made in a Chinese factory somewhere so, so you're gonna get the same flashlight marketed under a variety of different brand names. Now I think that this is a very practical flashlight to have around the house, maybe in the vehicle and I gotta say that I don't work for Defiant, the, the company Defiant, I have nothing to do with them. But this is just a very durable dual purpose tool which of course can be used for illumination but also for kicking ass if need be. Now I did a bit of a torture test because these are so cheap I bought a few and uh, I'm gonna probably keep one in the vehicle and one in the house. You can see here I cracked the watermelon open obviously nothing hard about that scare away the scavengers afterwards. Beating up on old undead Fred here as you can see and it just got a really good purchase got a really good grip nice weight distribution the thing I didn't like about the old mag lights they have a, a much wider diameter so getting your hand around it and getting a firm grip on it a death grip that's not going to come off is more challenging but this is the perfect size it's more akin to a normal size baton that law enforcement would use uh, especially with regards to the weight the, the old mag lights not only did the batteries inside those things tend to rattle around a lot the weight distribution was poor uh, if you did take a swing at it it's not going to be as fast of a swing because of the weight this is light enough that you're going to be able to swing it quickly but it's strong enough as i demonstrate here when i'm banging it on this tree that it, it is going to hold together if only for you know one altercation obviously if this thing gets you out of one altercation for 15 bucks well it was a good investment I don't show it here because I wasn't recording but the first time I did the banging on the tree test it actually separated in the middle and basically I snapped the LED wiring off of there but I was able to uh, put it back together and resolder it and the thing screwed right back together and we were uh, back to work with the, the flashlight so I was pretty impressed with the quality of a $15 flashlight I mean that's the price of a sub for something which you know is gonna pack a reliable wallop and also provide a significant amount of light now the light itself is a good blend of spot and flow 350 lumens is an ample amount of light to stun a prowler whose eyes are trained to the dark but it's a practical amount of lumens and candela to work with for everyday practical applications the problem with very high powered flashlights in small areas is that they can be too bright and end up compromising your own vision. This is a good buy. If I were you, I would pick up a couple of these. Uh, you can't go wrong for the $15 investment. You know, keep one in the car, keep one in the around the house in certain places. And you know, you never know, something like this could get you out of trouble. Now, obviously in some places in the United States, this is gonna be totally obsolete because you can just use a firearm to defend yourself. But, but for us Canadians and maybe people out in the UK there, this is something for you to consider. It's cheap, it's tough, it's reliable. What more do you need? It's something that would be a good thing to have in your arsenal and it runs on everyday conventional AA batteries. So go and check it out. Hope this was useful. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out.